Hello. Hello. Uh, could you please tell us your name and um, how you got into Scientology? Uh, my name is Tammy Thomas, and in 1978 I moved to back to Los Angeles, where I'm from, and uh, had a voice teacher who introduced me to Scientology in 1979. And I went to the Celebrity Center in Hollywood. Okay. So, um, how was your adventure there? I mean, what, what, what occurred? Did anything um, positive or negative happen in the Celebrity Center? Yes and yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, initially, I was completely impressed. I just thought, here was the answer to everything. And I was so excited about it. And, and I um, took basic courses. I took the comm course. And and uh, learned about the TRs and all the basics and uh, and it went very very well but at a certain point it started going downhill and I ended up having rather an unhappy experience and uh, felt very discouraged uh, and ended up uh, leaving the church and this was uh, in 1989 uh, but I still knew that truth is truth and that Hubbard was was right and, and what I'd learned was right. So even though I'd had really a devastating experience with the church organization, I realized that, that Scientology works, you know? Uh, and it made me feel good because I, I had felt so invalidated initially and over time, um, I just, I thought I, you know, eventually I'm gonna have to come to terms with this um, conflict. And <clears throat> actually it took me 20 years <laughs> to, to uh, finally, uh, get back into Scientology and first it was when I was living in Maine and this was um, about a year and a half ago the the church got a hold of me and sold me a lot of books and I started reading again but I was so annoyed by all the phone calls and all the the well what I felt to be harassment uh, that I, <clears throat> I I just disconnected and I after that uh, last April I moved to Reno Nevada and uh, I got back in touch with the church because I couldn't, I just didn't want to give up on Scientology. And so I tried it for a month or so and I bought a lot more books and, <laughs> and did a lot of reading uh, until I had a cognition that uh, I didn't agree with uh, the way I was being treated and I was very uncomfortable with the Church of Scientology. And so I, I disconnected. And then a week later I met a uh, gentleman who uh, turned out to be a Scientologist, and it, it seemed to be totally haphazard. I was try actually trying to help somebody else, and uh, this uh, fellow uh, recommended Ray, and so to help my, my friend, uh, we both came here together, and I ended up uh, saying that, well, I'd, I'd like the bridge, please. <laughs> and, and that's what I've been getting, and uh, I can tell you that I know the real thing when I see it. I'm getting the real bridge, and I'm getting, I can't imagine a better auditor. And I'm just, I can't thank them enough, um, Ray and Leslie. So you can't go wrong if you come here, that's for sure. Well, thank you. All right, um, I wanted to just touch upon, uh, not, not to be uh, stuck in the past or anything like that, but what what actually did happen in in uh, Celebrity Center that you felt that they just I better get away from these people or whatever? What what actually happened? Uh, I'm not sure how much I'm allowed to talk about what happened to me, but uh, just during uh, the comm course, I started going exterior and and had a lot of um, massive headaches and uh, and I, I really couldn't afford to get auditing at the time. And so I ended up going to a field auditor, but the auditing, the um, rundown that I got didn't work. And so I was stuck with the headaches for the next five years until, wow. yeah. And they were bad, you know, they felt like they were supernatural. <laughs> they were so intense. And uh, it was difficult for me to concentrate at that point on being on course, and I, and I kept going, I kept trying. Uh, and uh, in the process of, of, of studying, I think it was, uh, I think I was on HQS at the time, uh, I was uh, handed a bulletin on natural clear and basically fed a cognition that um, I could be a natural clear. And at that time, 
many people were jumping on that bandwagon. Mm -hmm. And uh, they wanted, you know, the quickie road to clear. And, uh, <clears throat> and I never really claimed, I never was sure what my particular situation was. And uh, so I got sent to the AO, but it, it, it took years actually for me to get to the point where I could afford to, to, to get some auditing. And first I had to do the purification rundown. Uh, there were no bulletins. They lost my folder. Uh, I wasn't given any art factors on how to, um, how to do the pure so that I wouldn't get sick. And uh, I made a lot of originations while I was on the pure earth, and, uh, and uh, those were ignored. And uh, I became overrun, and after uh, a while, I became so re-stimulated that uh, it was a very it was a very bad experience for me. And towards the end, I started getting seizures. And did you have a question about wow. that? No. Yeah. You're just saying, wow. Yeah, and I and I felt honestly um, that I was dying a number of times, and I became so ill and emaciated that my doctor, uh, Megan Shields, a Scientology doctor, um, thought that I had gotten hepatitis from the unsanitary conditions at the AO. And at the very end, I was soundly trounced, put in my place uh, repeatedly. Uh, the Auditing I, I was given just made me very sick, and I was told that I was a no case game uh, PC, and uh, and it was implied it was never stated outright, but it was implied that I was suppressive, and I gave that careful thought, uh, and at the at the end uh, I was I was told outright that I was a degraded being, and the only way <laughs> that I could. Uh, uh, receive services from the Church of Scientology again was if I licked envelopes and addressed envelopes and earned my way back into their good graces. Wow. Yeah. So having the experience of being in the church and being in the free zone, uh, which would you recommend? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not going to say duh, but which would you recommend? Uh, I know from from intense personal experience that I, 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 I would avoid the church Definitely, and uh, I don't know too many other people in the free zone, uh, but I do know uh, Ray uh, Robles and, and Leslie, and they meeting them honestly has been the best experience and probably the most, definitely the most important thing that has happened to me in all my lives. Very good. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, have any more time? Any questions, questions from the audience? Is audience? No. I, I have a question. What do you do in life? I'm an artist, a painter, and, okay. um, and a singer. And right now I'm very fortunate that I'm financially independent, so I can pursue those. And mostly right now I'm concentrating on getting up the bridge as you know, okay. well as I can. And how far did you make? I'm on OT4 right now. <laughs> oh! So, so um, them saying that you were a degraded being and couldn't get case gain and so forth, did you find that to be true in the, in the free zone? Uh, no. <laughs> no, very much the opposite. So and that, was, that was pretty much a lie and invalidation, and, wasn't it? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I mean, I was so devastated and crushed when I, I was treated that way uh, by the church that it took me a while to sort of pick myself up and pull myself together and... and um, the experience I've had since I've been getting auditing from, from Ray has been absolutely the opposite. It's been fantastic, and I know it's doing the right job. Okay. Now, one more question. I, um, getting into Celebrity Center, you involved in the entertainment business uh, back then when you got into Celebrity Center? Uh, well, I was working in the studios at the time. Oh. Um, Warner Brothers Records and... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Walt Disney Productions, and I actually ended up marrying a Scientologist who uh, was one of the main musicians uh, for Michael Jackson while Michael was uh, doing the Bad Album. And so, yeah, I was, I was very intensely involved. All right. Well, thank you very much for this interview, and uh, we wish you well and continue up the bridge. Well, thank you.